Hey Autoblog, this is Associate Editor Brandon Turkus. I'm still here with our 2016 Honda Civic Sedan, and I'm actually going to talk to you about uh, cabin space, because it's one of those things that's not really that easy to explain in text, so I'm actually going to show you. Uh, first of all, I'm about six foot one. I'm about 250-260 pounds, so I'm a bit on the bigger side, long-legged, but I fit quite well on the Civic. I've got the seat down as low as it can go, because I just like to sit closer to the road, uh, but I have plenty of leg room, and you know can reach the steering wheel nice and easily my one complaint is that the uh, center console here this is a really hard plastic so for someone like me that's longer legged if i'm going to be doing a long freeway drive my knee is constantly resting against this hard almost sharp piece of plastic and it's it's one of the letdowns in what's otherwise a very very nice cabin uh, the other thing that especially in this size class when you have someone of my size someone of my height it usually means not very good things for whoever is in the back seat. So what I'm going to do right now is you can see me in the front seat. I've got plenty of room. I'm quite comfortable. I'm actually going to shut off the camera, set it up in the back seat, and then you can see me climb in there and see just what it's like for ingress, egress, how much room I have, all that good stuff. Okay, as we can see, it's not that bad. I've got a good bit of separation between me and the driver's seat and keep in mind this is set up for someone of my height so a bit on the longer side or longer legged side uh it is really not that bad back here there's there's enough headroom my head's not hitting the roof uh which is good considering kind of the uh coupish fastbackish design of the civic and i'm gonna put my seat belt on here two-stage heated seats back here too that that's nice for a uh, Michigan January but yeah it's not bad back here I you know I wouldn't want to sit back here for a super long drive but for you know a, a ride to the bar or a ride to a restaurant or over to a friend's it uh, certainly wouldn't be a bad bad way to get there hey Autoblog I am back uh, you just saw me getting in and out of the Honda Civic sedan both the front seat and the back seat to get an idea of just how much space there is now through the magic of editing I am here in sunny San Diego rather than chilly cold snowy Michigan in the new Honda Civic Coupe uh, sitting in the driver's seat as you can see there's a steering wheel in front of me and basically it feels more or less the same as the sedan the seating position is very similar the H point is very similar I think I have a little bit less headroom it, it feels that way to me uh, but other than that it feels pretty much the same sight lines out the front are, are pretty much identical uh, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference from the B pillar forward. Look over the shoulder, the blind spots aren't huge. This uh, this is not a touring model that I'm in, but some of the uh, models do have the camera underneath the passenger side mirror to highlight your blind spot, but these rear quarter windows are pretty spacious, so you're, you aren't gonna have a hard time uh, finding stuff in your blind spot. Other than that, it feels pretty much the same. I'm going to get in the back seat now, and we'll see just how cramped I can be. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's not that easy. And... It's not quite as cozy back here. Uh, I can't actually reach the uh, driver's side uh, seat adjustment, so I can't set the uh, seat back to my driving position. But as you can see, my head is right right up against the uh, back window. It's, it's really quite cramped in here. Um, there's not a lot of shoulder room. Uh, basically, I mean, this might sound like common sense, but if you have any intention of hauling anyone besides yourself, you're probably gonna want the sedan. The coupe looks really good. It looks better in my opinion, but it's it's pretty cozy back here. I couldn't imagine doing uh, more than a few miles. And as you can see, ingress and egress is not great either. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a release for the, uh, for the seat here. There's one on the passenger side, so you might have a little bit easier time getting in, but uh, overall, it's it's definitely not the greatest thing in the world. So if you're planning on, you know, occasionally driving others, you'll probably want to go with a Civic Sedan.